Welcome to German history with a German accent. My name is Wolf, W-O-L-F, just like the animal. And in today's video, I'd like to speak a little bit about Ernst Udet. As always, if you enjoy this video, please leave a like and hit that subscribe button. Ernst Udet was born on April 26, in the year 1896, in Frankfurt am Main, in a well-off family that bought him a motorcycle which he used to serve as a motorcycle courier in the First World War, after he was rejected by the army due to his short body height. In the year 1915, he underwent pilot's training and obtained his civilian pilot's license. This resulted in his transfer to flying units. On the Western Theater, he scored his air victories. In November 1917, he took over command of the fighter wing 37, Jagdstaffel 37 in German, which he led until he was transferred into Manfred von Richthofen's fighter wing. By the end of the First World War, Ernst Udet was decorated with both classes of the Iron Cross as well as the Pour le Merit. He held the rank of Oberleutnant which is equivalent to the rank of first lieutenant. And after Manfred von Richthofen's death, Ernst Udet was the most successful fighter pilot on the German side who had survived the war. He total, totally scored 62 air victories. Only dead Red Baron scored more on the German side in the First World War. In the interwar period, Udet led a life as a flying artist who would demonstrate his extreme skills on, on air shows. For example, he would fly loops only seven feet above the ground. He would pick up handkerchiefs with the tip of his wings from the ground. As well as he would fly loops with a turned off engine and land his airplane in the same way. He would star in several movies in the 1930s, like SOS Iceberg, or Das Wunder des Fliegens, The Miracle of Flying. Ernst Udet also founded the Udet Flugzeug GmbH. Uh, GmbH, GmbH, is loosely comparable with the American LLC, although it's a little bit harder to establish. In this company, with secret help from the German Reichswehr, airplanes were manufactured illegally. Privately, Ernst Udet was reported to be a partier and a heavy drinker who had many, many girlfriends. When the Nazis took over power in the year 1933, it didn't take long until Ernst Udet joined the NSDAP, the National Socialist German Workers' Party. It is strongly believed that Udet didn't join the party because of his personal beliefs, but because of the bar party bought Ernst Udet two Curtis Hawk airplanes which were extremely strong engine airplanes that could fly the most extreme artistic maneuvers, which ultimately led to development of the Sturzkampfbomber, the dive bomber. In the year 1935, Udet joined the newly revealed Luftwaffe in the German Air Force, ranked as an Oberst, which is equivalent to the Colonel and he became the chief of the technology department of the Reichsluftfahrtamt, the Reichs Aviation Ministry. In the year 1939, Udet was promoted to the rank of General Luftzeugmeister, which gave him the responsibilities about more departments that Udet could handle. Ernst Udet, who was re really only interested in flying, became depressed as well as he became addicted to alcohol, as well as the drug Preventine, which is more known as methamphetamine. Despite his performance, he was awarded the Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross on July 19, the year 1940. On November 17, the following year, 1941, Ernst Udet took his own life by shooting himself in the head in his apartment in Berlin at the age of 45. The Nazi Reich buried him with all military honors 
and claimed that Ernst Udet had died flying a prototype airplane. Thank you so much for watching.